Hello, this is Mark Reed. I'm out here in the rain today taking a quick look at my uh, corn, what I hope to be someday Flint corn, Reed's Ohio Valley Flint corn. Now this particular corn has a lot of um, genetic input or heritage from uh, an old uh, Mexican variety called Zapalote Chico. And um, I'm growing it for the worm resistance that that particular variety carries. But there's been uh, mentioning and on the on the website here a lot about the idea of nitrogen fixing corn, and it's related to the prop roots. Now I'm used to seeing prop roots. Most corn that I've ever grown has these prop roots to one degree or another. So you look down here, for example, on this plant, there's some prop roots. Uh, the neighbor plants don't have them. But just about everywhere you see one of these bumps, somewhere in the next week or two, those roots will pop out of there probably. Now, Joseph mentioned, I think, in the case of nitrogen fixing corn, that these prop roots might um, exude some type of a mucilage. Now, I'd never seen that before. But here on this plant, you can see there is something kind of weird going on down here. This stuff. It feels slimy. It's not just a drop of water. See how it sticks to your finger? So I don't know what that is. But I go along and more than one of these plants has it. Here's the most dramatic example up here. Now just what that stuff is, I have no clue. It certainly feels slimy. I guess you could call it mucilage. Now whether that is um, capable of fixing nitrogen or hosting a bacteria that does, I have no idea.